English Conversation, Audiobook 3. Set 1. Your Fiddling While Rome Burns. Martin, hey Jesse, for your information, your fiddling while Rome burns. You were placed in charge of the whole event. Jesse, was I? Why in the world didn't they inform me earlier? I've got only three days left. We are so pressed for time. Sounds like I'm always destined to race against time to get things done. Martin, stop moaning and let's get our priorities right. First things first, I'll send the invitations. Jesse, nice, you have to put forth a plan for the rules of procedure as well. In the meantime, I'll set up an urgent meeting. Vocabulary, for your information, so you are aware of something. Fiddle while Rome burns. To take little or no action during a crisis. In charge of. In control of. Pressed for time. Having a small or limited amount of time available. Race against time. To hurry to meet a deadline. First things first. Important matters should be dealt with before other things. Put forth. To suggest. In the meantime while something else is happening set up to organize or plan something such as an event or system set to a blessing in disguise stephen dad's illness turned out to be a blessing in disguise it brought the family together for the first time in years carl wow how nice as they say every cloud has a silver lining stephen is pursuing his painting hobby, and contrary to all expectations, he announced that he wouldn't go back to work anymore. Carl, fabulous, he seems to be unshaken at all. I thought his life would turn upside down. Stephen, yeah, at least he was able to shake it off. Vocabulary, a blessing in disguise, something that seems bad or unlucky at first, but causes something good to happen later. Bring together, to cause people to join or meet or to unify. Every cloud has a silver lining. Every difficult or sad situation has a comforting or more hopeful aspect. Find out, to gain knowledge of something, to learn. Contrary to expectations, although people thought it would be different anymore, to any further extent, any longer, unshaken, not disturbed, steadfast and unwavering, turn upside down, to put in disorder, mix up or mess up, shake something off, to get rid of an illness. Set 3. That's beside the point. Stephen, hey Michael, get over here. How was today's test? Michael, Needless to say, I blew it. I told you, French is over my head. Stephen, that wasn't unexpected. If you hadn't cut class frequently, you could have done better. Besides, you had been messing around and slacking off all the time. Michael, I just can't stand the teacher. She takes sides and favors Linda all over others. That's not fair. Stephen, that's beside the point. Why don't you work hard and turn the tables on them? Michael, oh, my stomach hurts. I'm gonna throw up. Stephen, if you pursue an acting career, the odds are you'll take the lead. Vocabulary, get over here, used for telling someone to come, blow something, to ruin or waste something, over one's head, beyond one, someone's ability to understand. Cut class to miss classes on purpose. Mess around, behave in a silly or playful way. Slack off, to do something with less effort or energy. Can't stand, to dislike, to hate. Take sides, to support one person or opinion over another. Beside the point, not relevant, not important. Turn the tables. To change a situation so that you know you now have an advantage. Throw up. To vomit. Set 4. She's feeding you lies. Sam. Michael. That's the last straw. 
Unless you stop stepping your bounds and messing with me, I'm gonna wipe you out. I mean it this time. Michael, oh boy, what's the big deal? I'm shaking in my little boots. Sam, you are playing games again, aren't you? Why are you going out with Kathy? Michael, yep, just to prove to you that she is a worthless girl. She's just feeding you lies, man. Wake up already. Sam, my God, I feel so down. You've ruined everything. I just wasn't able to get her off my mind no matter how hard I tried. Michael, it's time you came to your senses, I suppose. Vocabulary Step one's bounds To go further or do more than one is permitted. Mess with To meddle or interfere with. Wipe out someone To eliminate someone To kill someone. Be shaking in one little boots. Sarcastic to be trembling with fear. Go out with someone. To go on a date with someone. Feed some something to someone. To tell someone something that is not untrue. Feel down. To feel sad and depressed. Get someone or something off one's mind. To stop thinking about or when wanting someone or something. To come down to one's senses. To begin to think in a sensible or correct way after being foolish or wrong. Set 5. Does this stand to reason? Albert, Claire is getting under my skin. I've had it up to here with her. Jason, what's up? Did she put you on the spot again? Albert, much worse. She is bossing me around as if she was the head of the department. Does this stand to reason? Jason, well, that's what you get when you are too easy going. Time to crack down, I suppose. Albert, it's not as simple as it seems. She is the only multilingual sales representative. Actually, I'd be shooting myself on the foot if I do away with her. Jason, then all you can do is smooth things over and you'll adjust to the status quo gradually. Vocabulary have it up to here with someone, not endure any more of someone. Get under one's skin to annoy or irritate someone intensely. Put someone on the spot to cause them embarrassment or difficulty by forcing them to answer a difficult question or make them an important decision. Boss someone around. Tell someone what to do. Give orders. Stand to reason to be logical or rational, crack down, to become more strict, shoot oneself on the foot, to foolishly harm one's own cause, smooth things over, make better or more pleasant, adjust to, to get used to a new situation by changing the way you do things, status quo, the existing state of affairs, the present situation. Set 6. Appearances are deceiving. Suzanne. Get a load of that little girl. She is a true troublemaker. Jenny. But she doesn't look so. Appearances are deceiving, as they say. Suzanne. She is not that bad, but she is spoiled. My uncle gets a kick out of her as she keeps him in stitches. Jenny. But he shouldn't give in to all her acts. Or... She'll eventually go out of control. Suzanne, you hit the nail on the head. I said that over and over again, but my words fell on deaf ears. Vocabulary, get a load of, take a look to draw attention to someone or something. Appearances are deceiving. Things can look different from the way they really are. Spoiled adjective of a person, especially a child, Harmed in character by being treated too leniently or indulgently. Get a kick out of. To get a sense of enjoyment, amusement or excitement. In stitches. Laughing uncontrollably. Give in. To finally agree to do what someone wants. Go out of control. No longer possible to manage. Hit the nail on the head. To describe exactly a situation or a problem. Over and over again, again and again, fall on deaf ears, 
of a statement or request to be ignored. Set 7. Why don't we track them down? Bill, it's a shame we lost touch with most of our university friends. Peter, why don't we track them down? Haven't you kept in touch with or come across any of them? Bill, a few. Some have settled down. Some are tied down. Some are living it up. And some others are in a rut. Recently, I've touched base with Steve, but he's always on the go. Peter, I hope we can get together one day and hark back to the good old days. Bill, yeah, I truly yearn for them. Vocabulary. Lose touch. To cease to be in communication. Track down. To find something or someone after looking for them. Keep in touch. To maintain communication with someone. Come across. To meet or find by chance. Tied down. Adjective. To be restricted by responsibilities. Live it up. To enjoy oneself. In a rut. In a fixed, rather boring way of doing things. Touch base. Briefly make or renew contact with someone. On the go. Constantly in motion, active or working. Hark back. To mention or remember something from the past. The good old days. A past period of better times. Yearn for. To long for or desire someone or something strongly. Set 8. She gave me a cold shoulder. Wendy, when it comes to friendship, you are more than lucky. Kathy in particular is just terrific. She is truly down to earth. Jesse, you are right. We really hit it off. I wish all other friends were like her. Wendy, you mean those fair weather ones? Jesse, exactly. The other day I came across Samantha. But she just gave me a, sho a cold shoulder. I wonder why. Do you still see her? Wendy? Not much. On and off. Obviously, I'm trying to steer clear of her. Because she looks down her nose at me. After she became well off and drove that classic car. Vocabulary. Down to earth. Adjective. Practical, reasonable and friendly. Hit it off. To get along well. A fair weather friend, a person who cannot be relied on in times of difficulty. The other day, a few days ago, give someone a cold shoulder to treat someone in an unfriendly way. On and off, once in a while, every so often. Steer clear of, to avoid or keep away from. Look down one's nose at someone, to regard someone with a feeling of superiority. Well off, adjective, wealthy, rich. Set 9. Who filled you in on that? George, I truly pity Mike. This guy is completely dominated by his wife. She simply leads him around by the nose. Carl, you are such a pushover. Who filled you in on that? Take what you hear in your department with a pinch of salt. George, what do you mean? Carl, Mike does have a mind of his own, but his wife is putting the screws on him after she caught him in the act of cheating on her. George, yeah, they used to be at odds and never, and never see eye to eye. Carl, Mike is so devious, he'll stand up for himself one way or another. Vocabulary, lead someone around by the nose. To completely control a person. A pushover. A person who is easy to overcome or influence. Fill someone in on. To give someone extra or missing information. Have a mind of one's own. Be capable of independent opinion. Put the screws on someone. To force somebody to do something especially by frightening and threatening them. Cheat on someone. To have a relationship with someone other than your husband, wife, or partner. At odds, in conflict. See eye to eye. Be in full agreement. Stand up for oneself. To speak or act in support of. Set 10. They aren't on the same wavelength. 
George, you know what? I don't like gossip, but there are rumors circulating around that Jesse and Sam's marriage is on the rocks. Carl, there is nothing of the sort. It could be a false alarm. People are very brilliant at blowing things up. George, but Claire did tell Jesse that their marriage had been on shaky ground and they were on the edge of splitting up. Carl, seriously? Who do you think is at fault? George, contrary to Sam's desire, Jesse doesn't want to have a bun in the oven. Apparently, they aren't on the same wavelength. Vocabulary, on the rocks, experiencing difficulties and likely to fail, a false alarm. Uh, or a signal or warning that is groundless. Blow something up. Exaggerate the importance of something. On shaky ground, weak and likely to collapse or fail. Split up. To end a relationship. To break up. At fault. Responsible for an undesirable situation. In the wrong. Have a bun in the oven. To have a baby. To be pregnant on the same wavelength, to agree with someone else. Set 11. Easier said than done. Harry, thanks for making some time for me, Sarah. I thought the new position would change you, but you've got a heart of gold indeed. Sarah, obviously, assuming responsibility is easier said than done. I've to sort out everything from scratch. Harry, if the worst comes to worst, consider hiring an assistant to share the workload. Sarah, well, let's not jump the gun. Currently, things are under control. Harry, be sure not to lose your head while dealing with Ain. She has got a one-track mind. Sarah, well, I shouldn't make any prejudgments about her before I meet her. I'd love to start with no hard feelings. Vocabulary. Make time. Arrange one's schedule for doing something or seeing someone. Have a heart of gold. Have a generous nature. Easier said than done. More easily talked about than put into practice. From scratch. From the very beginning. If the worst comes to the worst. If the situation develops in the most serious or unpleasant way, jump the gun, act before the proper or appropriate time, lose one's head, to act emotionally or irrationally, have a one-track mind, think only about one subject, no hard feelings, no feeling of being upset. Set 12. It's a bit of a stretch. Chris, I'm not a big proponent of taxations. Nonetheless, it's a bit of a stretch to claim tax taxes are the cause of all our problems. Diana, yeah, that's no-brainer. Taking it out on the circumstances rather than taking action has become the norm, you know. Chris, right. It's outrageous to see some of the youth leading a parasitic existence and refusing to cope with the fact that we are responsible for our failures. Diana, you know the proverb that says, better work as hard as an ant than lead a parasitic life as a sparrow? We should learn what is truly worth our while, rather than sitting idly by. Chris, honestly, it's like pulling teeth laying the facts out. Diana, I think everyone will eventually wake up and know their stuff. Vocabulary. A bit of a stretch. A mild exaggeration. No-brainer. Something which requires little or ne no mental effort. Take it out on. To vent or release one's anger on someone or something. Cope with. To endure something, usually something unpleasant. Worth one's while deserves the time, effort, or money on. Sit idly by to see something bad happening without trying to prevent it. Like pulling teeth, extremely difficult to do, 
lay out to explain a plan of action or a sequence of events. No one's tough to be good at doing something because you know a lot about it. Set 13. Just what the doctor ordered. Chris, how's the new course going? Diana, just what the doctor ordered. The teacher is competent and I'm making a lot of progress. How about yours? Chris, I can't complain, but the content doesn't measure up to my expectations. Diana, don't be too critical. You were dying to apply for it. I know you are going to end up making a fool out of yourself as usual. Look, unless you pick something and stick with it, you won't get anywhere in life. Chris, that's right. I do need to get serious. Vocabulary. Just what the doctor ordered. Exactly what is wanted or needed. Make progress to move forward in one's work or activity to develop or improve. Can't complain. Things are fine. Measure up. To meet a particular requirement, standard, or expectation. Not make a fool of oneself. To do something that makes someone or oneself seem stupid or ridiculous. Stick with. To persevere or continue with. Get the ball rolling. Set an activity in motion. Make a start. Set 14. A counter-attack can save the day. George, losing today's match is gonna be a bitter pill to swallow. Mike, the new lineup isn't that adequate as our dependable players aren't included. The team's Achilles heel is the right wing, I suppose. George, look, our best striker David is having a go at a goal from the free kick. But it's just wide. What a waste. Mike? Not again. Thomas Outswinger near the penalty spot has also missed the target. George? Oh, that silly foul by Gerrits led to the free kick and the final whistle will be blown in no time. Mike? We are in a serious rut. Nothing but a counter attack can save the day. George? Fabulous! We scored a goal! I was certain our guys will rise to the occasion. Vocabulary Lineup People that have been selected to form a team or take part in an event. Achilles heel A weakness or vulnerable point. Right wing The right side of a team on the field in soccer, rugby, etc. Striker, the player who is to strike the ball in a game. Have a go, to try to do something. Free kick, an opportunity to kick the ball without the other team getting involved. Wide, far from a particular or intended point or target. Outswinger, a ball kicked with a swerve or swing. Penalty spot. The point within the penalty area where the penalty kicks are taken. Miss the target. To not achieve or reach the goal. Blow the final whistle. To end the game. Counter attack. An attack made in response to one by an opponent. Set 15. It takes two to tango. Jack. Oh man, our new product is taking the country by storm. We are literally cornering the market. Kevin, magnificent. Have you ever heard of something called viral marketing? Jack, what do you mean? Are you teasing me? Kevin, then you need to roll your sleeves up and keep track of our web page. There are hundreds of unanswered messages. Jack, I can't handle all these messages by myself. It's no wonder I'm behind in my work. Why don't you give me a hand? It does take two to tango. Kevin, I will. It's a deal. Vocabulary. Take by storm. To win or gain huge and widespread success popularity rap rapidly. Corn corner the market. To sell or produce something so successfully as to overshadow all others in the same field. 
Viral marketing, a method of marketing whereby consumers are encouraged to share information about a company's goods or services via the internet. Tease, make fun of a, or attempt to provoke a person or animal. A given, a known or established fact or situation. Roll one's sleeves up. To do or get ready to do something difficult, intense or demanding. Keep track of. To make certain that you know what is happening. To be behind in. To be late with, not progressing quickly, enough with. It takes two to tango. Requires two people to do some certain things. It's a deal. Used to express one's assent to an agreement.